It's really late at night and Melinda is driving to the gas station to start her graveyard shift as one of the attendants. Melinda is very shy and lonely, perhaps even neurodivergent, which makes her very insecure and quite a pushover. Her co-worker Sheila always dumps the worst chores on her, like cleaning the toilets, and tricks her into recording embarrassing things for the internet. When it comes to interacting with clients, Melinda is incredibly awkward and everyone finds her weird when she tries to befriend them without caring they're strangers. Usually they prefer to talk to Sheila because she's the pretty girl, which makes Melinda incredibly jealous. It makes her want to have that attention even when it comes from the creepy dude that comes to hit on Sheila every night. The only guy that shows an understanding of Melinda's personality is Officer Lou, who is very friendly and doesn't mind chatting with her whenever he comes by. This has caused Melinda to develop a crush on him, and she takes pictures of him when he isn't looking all the time. Tonight, a man called Billy comes into the store with a handgun that he keeps hidden in his clothes because Lou is around as well. Sheila finds it suspicious that the guy is wandering around without buying anything and tries to find out what his intentions are with some seemingly innocent questions about what he's looking for, causing Billy to pretend he needs the bathroom to be able to hide for a while. Then, Sheila takes care of Lou's purchase and realizes Melinda is taking pictures of them behind their backs, which she finds really creepy, but Lou continues to be understanding of Melinda's issues and doesn't mind. Their conversation is interrupted when Lou gets a message to look for an armed man that stole a car and leaves the store, then Sheila takes the chance to make fun of Melinda for her pictures, making her rush outside so she can cry alone while she smokes. When Melinda goes back inside, she finds Billy holding Sheila at gunpoint and promising not to hurt anyone if they cooperate. He swears he isn't evil, he just needs the money to pay a gang of bikers that wants to kill him. Billy won't stop talking and it annoys Sheila, who throws lots of sass back and lies about the safe, explaining only the managers have access to it. Tired of the way she keeps talking to him, Billy shoots a warning shot and makes Sheila fill his bag with the money from the register, and for some reason this impresses Melinda. With an idea in mind, Melinda admits she can open the safe, and when Sheila freaks out, Melinda pretends she's helping because she's afraid of Billy's gun. While Melinda fills the bag with the money from the safe and fixes her hair thinking she may get Billy's attention, a father and daughter enter the store, causing Billy to hide the gun and order Sheila to play along or he'll kill anyone. These clients pay with a credit card, and when they ask for directions to the next town, Sheila uses the ticket to pretend she's writing a little map when in fact she's asking for help. Unfortunately Melinda comes back then and steals the ticket before giving the client directions in her own words. After the clients leave, Billy asks for his bag, but Melinda won't give it to him unless he takes her with him too because she thinks she may be useful. Billy refuses, thinking it's a crazy idea and saying he has no use for her, which hurts Melinda's feelings and makes her cry as she points out he wouldn't have the money without her. Tired of this waiting, Billy pushes Melinda and takes the bag by force, yet when he's about to cross the door Sheila starts insulting him for taking advantage of two helpless girls. This makes Billy finally lose it, so he makes Melinda lock the store door and hide in the bathroom while he takes Sheila to the break room, where he tries to take advantage of her. Sheila fights back and her screams can be heard through the door, prompting Melinda to disobey Billy and leave the bathroom to find the coffee machine. After checking it's hot enough on her own hand, she takes the pot to the break room and throws the hot coffee at Billy's face, then knocks him out by hitting him with a fire extinguisher. It isn't until Billy falls on the floor that Melinda realizes the gun was shot in the struggle and Sheila is now dead. A few hours later, Billy wakes up to find himself tied to a chair and Melinda cleaning the floor after having wrapped Sheila's body up with some tarpaulin. Billy immediately tells her this is all her fault because he never planned to kill her, his intent had always been just to scare them, but Melinda doesn't look too bothered. Instead of reacting to his accusations, she sits in front of Billy and wonders why he didn't want her to go with him, making him realize she hasn't called the cops yet and he still has a chance. Billy begins talking sweetly to Melinda, explaining he knows he can trust her now and they can totally run away together. When Melinda expresses jealousy of the fact he chose Sheila over her, Billy calls her pretty and points out he just didn't want to hurt her while he didn't care about Sheila's safety. He even plays the self-deprecation card and pretends he understands Melinda's struggles when shares anecdotes about her work, effectively winning her over. When Billy asks for a cigarette, Melinda shares one with him and tells him the burns on his face aren't so bad, it's something she does to herself all the time. The way she begins talking about fire as a cleansing force is incredibly creepy, so Billy gets her to stop by requesting some painkillers for his headache. Melinda goes back to the store to grab the medicine and a bottle of water while ignoring the man at the door that keeps knocking on the glass and asking to be let in. Since Billy interrupted her ode to fire, she's starting to have doubts about their compatibility and grabs a little extra before going back to him. Billy takes a painkiller before starting to talk sweetly to Melinda again, but this time she isn't as receptive and pretends to have a boyfriend as a way to test Billy. She says she doesn't care about leaving a boyfriend behind, but Billy thinks this man may worry about her girlfriend missing and will come after them. So he takes his word back and tells Melinda she can't come with him after all. His words hurt Melinda, who realizes she had been right to worry and gives Billy a second painkiller. It only takes a few seconds for him to feel funny and realize he hadn't been given a painkiller, Melinda gave him a performance enhancer that is making his pants too tight. 
Confessing aloud that she knows Billy is lying and that she doesn't care, Melinda puts tape over Billy's eyes and mouth to then sit on his lap and try to take advantage of him. Using all the strength he has left, Billy stands up and pushes Melinda off her, then uses his ears to try to detect where she is. Sound isn't enough though and when he comes closer, he blindly ends up hitting his head against the lockers and passes out. Seeing Billy's ear bleeding, Melinda assumes he's dead and grabs the gun plus the money bag before returning to the store where the man is still knocking on the door. After letting him into shop for whatever he needs, Melinda grabs the gun and considers ending things, but she can't bring herself to do it and finally breaks down in tears. The client wants to pay for his stuff and Melinda begs for him to go away, so the guy leaves with his things without showing concern about the situation. Afterward, Melinda dials 911 but immediately hangs up when someone else arrives, it's Perry, who came to pick his girlfriend Sheila up. Melinda lies and tells him Sheila left on her own, causing Perry to call Sheila's phone and blow the lie open. The phone is on the floor where it fell earlier during the struggle with Billy. Perry picks it up and demands to know the truth, prompting Melinda to lie again and say Sheila left with another guy to a motel. Making a helpless girl lie for her sounds like something Sheila would do so Perry believes her and leaves to check the nearest motel after asking Melinda not to allow Sheila to leave if she returns for her phone. Once Perry is gone, Melinda checks on Billy to confirm his size, then goes to the woods behind the store to confirm the dirt is soft enough for her to dig a grave. However when she goes back to the station to grab a shovel, she finds herself surrounded by a biker gang looking for Billy. Melinda pretends she doesn't know what they're talking about and tells them the store is closed. When they don't believe her and try to enter anyway Melinda points Billy's gun at them. The gang takes out their own weapons, but their leader tells them to step back because there are security cameras and they can't risk it. The gang accepts to leave for now, but they promise to come back later if they can't find Billy. The mention of the camera makes Melinda realize there's recorded proof of her crimes, so after the gang leaves she tries to access the CPU that keeps the cameras working, but it is behind a lock and she can't break it. The only way for her to get rid of all proof is by burning the whole place down, thus Melinda begins filling containers with gasoline. Before she can go further, Lou shows up because he saw Billy's car and identified it as the stolen vehicle he's looking for. Melinda swears she saw nothing and that she doesn't have access to the security cameras. Lou reports the stolen car to the station and calls the gas station's manager to convince her to come over to cooperate with the police. Melinda realizes Lou will stay here for as long as needed to follow the car case, so after he hangs up, she pretends she suddenly remembers a very shady client that came by and asked for directions to the nearest motel. Lou believes her, but before leaving, he needs to do a quick sweep of the store, partly because of protocol and partly because Melinda suspiciously looks too nervous. On the edge of another breakdown, Melinda watches Lou check every room and takes out her gun, ready to shoot him if necessary, but surprisingly Lou finds nothing and leaves after giving Melinda his card. Terrified of the implications, Melinda takes her gun out again and checks the break room, only to find it empty, the only proof of Billy having been there being the cut bindings on the floor. Then she checks the back door, but she still can't see Billy anywhere, so she assumes he's gone for good. Now Melinda can proceed with her plan and begins covering the whole store with gasoline, grabbing the money bag when she's done and leaving the gun behind to get the lighter ready to start the fire. Suddenly the power goes off in the whole building and Melinda rushes to the door to confirm her fears. The power loss has triggered the security lock and now she can't leave. At that moment, Billy shows up asking for his money, so Melinda threatens with starting the fire if he takes another step. To make matters worse, Perry is back to demand information on Sheila, causing Billy to run away through the back door. Melinda tries to follow him, but Billy has locked the back door with the trash container and is now approaching Perry to tell him Melinda killed Sheila. From the other side of the door, Melinda tries to give her side of the story, and as soon as Perry turns to her, Billy takes advantage of the distraction to jump on him and kill him with a gasoline hose. Meanwhile Melinda calls Lou to ask him to come back, but before she can give him all the details, Billy gabs his car and crashes it against the door to gain access to the store again. As Melinda moves back in fear, Billy comes inside and recovers the money bag and his gun. Hearing Melinda say the police are coming makes him realize he has no choice but to kill her, yet this plan backfires when he shoots the gun because it's covered with gasoline and the shot instantly starts a fire. Billy immediately gets covered in flames from head to toe, and while Melinda is safe at first, she'll have to cross the flames if she wants to escape. Luckily there's an emergency fire extinguisher that she can use, so she walks into the flames on purpose, grabs the extinguisher, and saves her legs before running outside. It's at that moment that Lou arrives with backup. He immediately grabs Melinda and takes her to his car, apologizing for not having stayed with her and checking for injuries. Melinda looks into his eyes and realizes his apology is sincere, meaning he's always been the only person that cares at all. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.